Gabe, Coach talked about, I guess, the way you guys kind of responded in practice on Sunday. Guys like Marvin were, were pushing you guys, uh, accountability, things of, of that nature. I mean, how, how would you classify the, the bounce back so far? Um, I think that taking the steps yesterday or Sunday during practice, uh, making up for some of the mistakes we made in the game, and then not only doing that, but also just doing a couple things to uh, make a prideful statement, kind of put pride and confidence back in this um, team is important. Running after practice when it wasn't the coaches making us do it, it was the players a huge step, I feel like, and it's something that we are going to uh, benefit from. How difficult is it to move past a game like that? I mean, uh, losing a game like that, uh, when you put in a good amount of work during the week for practice and things of that nature, yeah, it does hurt to lose, but at this point in the season, we have to focus on the next game, and that's beating Wake Forest. So, I guess how do you guys go, go about doing that? Is how do you go about putting that game behind you and being able to focus on Wake after all the effort you put into the, to the Clemson game and not getting the result you want? Um, I think we just have to come back out here with a positive mindset, knowing that we are a good team. We just have to do. Um, we have to correct the mistakes that we made last week, make sure that we don't make those mistakes again, and come out here and make uh, build on the things that we do know that we can do well. We have to throw the ball. Uh, we have to be able to run the ball with Cam and uh, Kalen, and then defensively we need to stop the run and we need to stop the pass. So. I guess confidence remains. I mean, Coach Browles has scored points everywhere he's been, and the offense has produced well up until last week. I mean, so the confidence, I imagine, remains kind of high that you guys will be able to bounce back. Of course. Yeah, we have complete confidence in our teammates and Coach Browles. Uh, he's a great coach, and I know that he'll have a great game plan for us this week, so I'm, I'm excited. What are the challenges that Wake presents when you watch them on the day? Um, they play fast. Uh, up front, number nine is a really good player, so we just have to make sure that we ID him and uh, make sure that the O-line does a good job securing their blocks in the front. I think that if we can get the ball to our skilled players in the open field, uh, any game, we'll have a great chance to win. Make sure we uh, possess the ball, don't turn it over. Uh, I think last week you, you guys saw that turnovers played a big part in this game. So as long as we make sure that we're good this week on keeping the ball and possessing it, uh, we'll have a great chance to win. With Kalen getting his first touchdown, Coach Brown said he saw a little bit of extra pep in his step this week. Do you see a little bit of a change in him? And, and what could him getting to that next level be for this team? Uh, I mean, already in the meeting rooms, I've seen him have a great energy today. So I'm um, excited to see how he'll come out today at practice. But I mean, it's always a great feeling to see your teammates score, especially considering Kalen's been through so much since he's been here being injured and stuff. So finally, for him to be able to finally get in the paint is awesome. So everyone's excited about it. Obviously, you want to come out and play well, but how important is it for you guys to come out and prove that you're better than what was on the field last Saturday? Um, I think it's a very uh, big deal for us because we know that we're better than what we put on the field Saturday. We just uh, have to make sure that in practice we come out and we handle the situations that the coaches give us uh, to the best of our abilities, make sure that we're taking pride in the little things. I feel that I feel like when we play games like that, big games, guys can get uh, – worked up and forget about the little things that like their assignment individually at each play. And so I think that this week we just need to come out and focus on playing up to the standard that we've already established in the off season and making sure that we come out and handle business this week. What's the mentality when you're going up against a team that allowed 62 points uh, last week? Um, I mean, looking at that on film, I mean, uh, we still credit them that they're a good ball team, but uh, we have to be able to come out and expose some of the things that they do wrong, and we have to be able to highlight the things that we do right. So, I mean, it's exciting for an offense to be able to come out and try and score as many points as we can every week.